player who can't level up, genre, action, adventure, fantasy, shounen. 143 chapters, ongoing. There was a man named Kim Kiju. He received a special invitation to become a player in a game. And not just any player, but a unique ability player. Kiju was filled with excitement, thinking that his struggles would finally come to an end. However, reality didn't unfold as Kiju had hoped. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't seem to progress beyond level 1 in the game. It was a frustrating and disheartening experience for him. He felt stuck and unable to move forward, despite his best efforts. To make ends meet, Kiju decided to work as a guide on the lower floors of the game's tower. For five long years, he dedicated himself to helping other players navigate through the early stages of the game. It was a humble role, far from the grand adventures he had envisioned for himself. But amidst his role as a guy, a remarkable breakthrough occurred. Kiju discovered an extraordinary ability within himself, the power to link with egos. This newfound ability allowed him to enhance and raise his own stats. It was a revelation that changed everything for him. Return of the Frozen Player, Genre, Action, Adventure, Fantasy, Shounen. 116 Chapters, Ongoing. A man named Seo Junho, alongside his brave companions, he made a great sacrifice in order to defeat the Frost Queen and bring peace back to Earth. They believed that their actions would restore harmony and tranquility to their beloved planet. However, fate had different plans in store for Junho. After their heroic act, he found himself frozen solid for a staggering 25 years. Time passed by, and the world changed in his absence. When Junho finally thought out, he was met with a shocking revelation. Nine new floors had emerged during his frozen slumber, and only one of them had been successfully clear. As Junho surveyed the landscape before him, he realized that the responsibility to conquer the next floor and free his frozen comrades rested solely on his shoulders. He was the only one who held the key to their liberation. Although he had just awakened from a long hibernation, Junho knew that he must rise to the occasion once again. But there was a question in his mind. Had he been asleep for too long? Could he still defeat the new enemies that Earth had to face? The Constellation That Returned From Hell Genre Action Adventure Comedy Fantasy Martial Arts .151 Chapters Ongoing It was a fateful day when a mysterious place known as the Abyss suddenly appeared. This abyss was a strange realm filled with celestial beings and fearsome monsters, unlike anything the world had ever seen before. These celestial beings from the abyss had a unique requirement. They needed the faith and belief of humans to sustain their power. Earth, with its vast population, became like a jackpot for these celestial entities. They saw the people of Earth as a source of power and energy, relying on their faith to maintain their strength. However, not all the celestial beings from the abyss were benevolent. While some of them offered blessings and assistance to humans in exchange for their faith, there were others who harbored darker intentions. These evil celestials desired to seize control over Earth by any means necessary, even if it meant resorting to more powerful and destructive methods. Soul Station's Necromancer, Genre, Action, Adventure, Fantasy, Shounen, Supernatural. 123 chapters, ongoing. There was a man named Khan Wujin. He had spent years on a distant planet called Alphen, fighting for his survival. Over time, he had become a formidable necromancer, wielding dark powers and ruling over his own territory. He was feared by many for his strength and dominance. However, fate had a different plan for Khan Wujin. He stumbled upon a way to return to Earth, his home planet. But when he arrived, he found himself reduced to a mere low-level player in a game. Instead of ruling over a territory, he now had to clear dungeons and complete quests to earn some cash. The Kong Wujin's skills were undeniable. His experience as a fearsome necromancer made him stand out among the other players. Soon enough, major guilds within the game started to take notice of him. They saw his potential and wanted him to join their ranks. 
Wujin became the center of attention as these guilds vied for his attention, recognizing the power he possessed. And just when things seemed to be settling into a new normal for Khan Wujin, a grave threat loomed on the horizon. His old enemy, the one he thought he had left behind on the planet Alphen, was now threatening to invade Earth. Regressor Instruction Manual, Genre, Action, Comedy, Drama, Fantasy, Shounen. 88 Chapters, Hiatus. One day, something unbelievable happened. He was suddenly thrown into a game where his life was at stake. It was a game of life and death, and Jiang found himself right in the middle of it. But there was a problem. Among all the players, he had the lowest stats. It seemed like he didn't stand a chance against the others, who were much stronger. However, Jiang had one special skill that gave him a glimmer of hope. He had the ability to read the status of other players. This meant that he could see their strengths, weaknesses, and abilities. It was a valuable skill that could give him an edge in the game. One day, while exploring this dangerous game world, Jiang made a remarkable discovery. He found out that there was another player named Tianxin who had returned to this world. This was a golden opportunity for Jian. He realized that if he could stick close to Hyunsen, who was more experienced and knowledgeable about the game, he could learn from him and find a way to survive and succeed. Starting today, I'm a player. Alternative title, My Life as a Player. Genre, Action, Adventure, Fantasy, Shounen, 75 Chapters, Hiatus. Something strange happened on Earth, over a hundred years ago, these weird things called dimensional gates suddenly appeared. They brought a lot of changes to the world. One of the changes was the birth of heroes called hunters. These hunters were able to fight off the monsters that came out of the gates. But there was a catch. These hunters were chosen by special beings called sponsors. Because of this, the hunters started calling themselves gods and created a new world order called Eden, South Lee. The people who weren't chosen became slaves to these hunters who thought they were gods. Now, in the present, there is a guy named Jung Kyung Lee. He is just an ordinary person with no special powers. But he is working really hard to become a sponsored hunter. One day, while he was training with his mentor, Sun Koo, they got attacked by the ruler of Eden. Before Jung Kyung could be killed, Sun Koo did something amazing. He sent Jung Kyung back a hundred years into the past. Now, Jung Kyung has a big task. He needs to change the course of history and fix the way society works 